typical Valentine's Day in Hong Kong. Hey, tell you I love you. Uh, Nick, I love you. <laughs> I've been in Hong Kong for um, five years. I saw many people holding flowers in stations and waiting for their girlfriend to come. Or maybe in the school, I see some people holding flowers. And then if, when the girlfriend comes, they will give the flowers and all girls will be like, <gasps> It's an opportunity to share love. And I think it's quite beautiful in a way. Oh, my best Valentine's Day. Um, uh, to be honest, I can't think of any particular Valentine's Day that's been very memorable. <laughs> and I think my husband will be very upset hearing that. <laughs> no particular bad ones either. It, it just feels like an excuse for another date, I guess. One of the reasons is like girls like flowers is kind of commercialized through maybe Instagram or other social network platforms and then that's why boys would tend to look at those things and then give her flower. And also, girls also post the flowers on Instagram and show that they receive that flowers. So that's why people are giving flowers to the girls. Uh, one of the memorable experiences was that on Valentine's Day, I, didn't, I said I didn't want any flowers, but obviously I wanted some flowers. Uh, but instead, my boyfriend and I, we were walking in the flower market. And so instead of buying a bouquet of flowers, because I said it's too expensive, he bought me a, a plant, a gigantic plant. <laughs> and uh, because it will, it will stay for a very long time, that's what he says. Um, so we didn't even like the plant because it was too heavy. So it needs to get transported on a different day. It's to remind all men that we should always receive flowers and be swept off our feet. Flower got meaning. And if the person is thoughtful enough to think about the meaning behind the flowers, um, it's very appreciated. Maybe ordering the favorite food of the person. I think, yeah, it's also quite thoughtful. From what I've seen so far, couples seems to have very nice dates here. I think people here really go full out for their dates and I, I would imagine, yeah, you buy like gifts and flowers, maybe go to a nice dinner, go for a walk. If I ever received like my favorite flower from my boyfriend, I would be over the moon. Roses represent love or something. So I think they, like girls really care, tend to care a lot about these meaningful um, presents. Honestly, I'm fine with anything. if. Even if a small message card is fine, like letter, it doesn't need to be like present. I think if they can express how much you love a person, then it's good enough. Actually, I'm I always buy the flower um, for me for myself uh, at my home. So then, like the every day is a Valentine's Day. I will always like buy the uh, flower for the man. Um, Whatever it is, a Valentine's Day or a Christmas or a birthday or, um, or whatever is a happy day, I want to send a flower for someone. I like eating chocolate, so around that time there is a lot of chocolate on the store, so maybe I like that, I like that, but I don't have any feelings about Valentine's Day. I'll ask his preferences. Mm. I think we'll exchange presents, but I don't know. I just, I was just directly asking what he wants and to spend Valentine's Day together. If you want to make someone happy, um, you will to enjoy to spend the money. I think shopping is a great experience for me. I felt like. Um, our wallets are bleeding quite a bit on that day specifically. I do think it's quite commercial because everything is so pricey around that time and a lot of restaurants are always booked up. I went to some restaurant, like a fancy restaurant during that day. I, I went with my friend, but I saw a many, many, many couples, like only couples in that restaurant. And we are the only friend, 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 friend people in that restaurant. For Japanese, um, friends also celebrate Valentine's Day, not only couples, because we exchange a friend chocolate to each other 
maybe they will cook a chocolate kind of cakes or something like that exchange among friends but I don't know I feel like in Hong Kong it's only a couple things so maybe that's a little bit awkward to me I have a boyfriend in Japan so maybe we we don't have something special plan to, to this year but usually we just make what, what we want to eat in, in terms of sweets. I've never celebrated actually, not yet. <laughs> it's gonna be my first Valentine's Day. I would celebrate, so I don't have any prior Valentine's Day experience. My boyfriend is actually in England at the moment, so it's gonna be um, remote Valentine's Day. Probably we're just gonna send like a nice message and yeah, send an attention maybe. My boyfriend is also in the UK. So, no. I probably will spend it with her because she's my best friend. And yeah, I will probably message, call him, message him, but I'll probably be probably friends Valentine's Day again. I usually spend it with friends and it's quite nice. We watch like girl movies and stuff, have some rosé, have snacks and just we like we celebrate our love for each other as friends, which I think is also quite nice. <laughs> It's a hard one. Uh, mm, I think, well, I want to say confession. I guess it's one of like, one kind of confession. I asked him what he doesn't like about me, and then he just says it's a part of the package. So he avoided all negative responses at all costs. <laughs> uh, I think to be told that I am the most beautiful woman when I am sick and obviously looking my absolute worst in my opinion that's probably the most romantic <laughs> i think money does not really matter i think it's about the things that you do for the other person the things you know that are really close to their heart and if you do that then it's a great valentine's day <laughs> <laughs>